A barbell of mass m is lifted vertically upwards at a constant velocity to a distance h by an outside force. How much work is done? Uh, how much work does the outside force do on the barbell? So let's draw a quick picture of the barbell. Why not? So I uh, will draw the barbell. It's green. And let's say the barbell is lifted up. If we're going to lift the barbell up, in which direction would we apply the force? Upward or down? The answer is upward. So we'll be applying a force in this direction. And I'll call that the applied force. Now the minimum amount of force that's needed to move it upward would be equivalent to its weight. So that applied force would be mg at minimum. If you apply a force of mg upward, mg down would be equivalent to the applied force up, and this object would move with a constant velocity. Let's say if the applied force exceeds mg, that means you have more upward force than down. You wouldn't have a constant velocity, you'd have an acceleration upward. So it moves upward, or excuse me, a, a force is applied upward, and its displacement is also upward, and we'll call this h. They're describing the distance as h, and since the force and displacement are in the same direction, work is being done. Work is force times dis dis displacement. So work is the force, again we define that as being mg, times the distance is h. So we can go shopping here for an answer. This is impossible. There is work being done. And this is impossible. Mg is force. Negative Mg is still force. And definitely work is being done. So the question is, is it B, negative Mgh, negative work being done, or C, positive Mgh, positive work being done? If we look at our vectors and recall from previous discussions, if the force and the displacement vector point in the same direction, the work is positive. So C is the correct answer. The hint to solving these problems, or figuring out at least the sign on the work done, is free body diagramming. So using vectors and drawing the vectors and observing how they're oriented in relation to each other.